Wasn't it Michelle Bachman who said she's a foreign correspondent on enemy lines? And I try to let everyone back here in Minnesota know exactly the nefarious activities that are taking place in Washington. Congresswoman Bachman, I have a nefarious activity for you to report. Our number one story, your government-run website could be spamming people. Our friend Richard Lewis joins us presently, but first the detail on this. Alert the media, or at least Scooby-Doo, it is the case of the data mining congresswoman. Those eager to get the latest in re-education camp, CO2 is natural byproduct of nature. Let's slit our wrists and be Blood Brothers news, otherwise known as the Bachman Bulletin. Michelle Bachman's tw a Twitter page tells you how. If you're interested in receiving mobile updates from me, text MN6 to 467468479287452638. Or visit BachmanHouse.gov and subscribe. Thanks so much. Once on her congressional website, run by the very gangster government she has railed against, just enter your first and last name and an email address. In fact, it doesn't even have to be your name or your email address. It could be somebody else's, somebody you really don't like. Well, that seems easy. It also seems very similar to the approach adopted by the White House, asking people to send in disinformation about health care reform that Bachman's Republican colleagues branded as an Obama monitoring program that the White House eventually shut down after heckling from fixed news. One Democratic official tells Politico, Bachman is using official government resources in a way that allows groups to simply add individual emails into her government-run database. When this inconvenient truth was pointed out to her office, they maintained they are following the rules. If individuals decide they do not want to receive these updates, they can always opt out. And she would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. Joining me now is promised, currently in his seventh season, as one of the stars of Curb Your Enthusiasm, Richard Lewis. And Prince, I have to start with a question for you. Anything, you, but... You are I, currently... I, I, go, on, do I have to... You're currently on your Misery Loves Company stand-up tour. Where will you be performing next? I don't know. Well, I, I wind up somewhere in San Antonio yeah. and somewhere in Cleveland and uh, the Napa Valley as a recovering alcoholic to <laughs> nice. play at uh, Napa Valley. You know, they'll probably just throw like, here's 10 grapes, use your imagination, moron. <laughs> you know, but, but, you know, I, I haven't performed in a nightclub in Hollywood in 30 years, but I'm doing this for Lenny Bruce's wonderful daughter, Kitty, who is a, a recovering addict herself. And she's starting a place called Lenny's House, mm -hmm. uh, Lenny's Home, I, yeah, Lenny's House. And I'm going to do a show with some four or five great comedians uh, at the Laugh Factory on the 25th, 28th of October. It's going to rock the house, and please come down. And I'm, everyone is, has people in their lives who are affected by, uh, you know, excessive alcohol and drugs. So we're going to do a great thing. And there's a great auction with Lenny's stuff and Excellent. typewriters and his clothes. So it's all good. But you have to show me Glenn Be It's the 28th at the Laugh Factory yeah. in Hollywood. But Glenn Beck, Glenn Dreck, this Bachman, Schlockman. I, what, what's, why do we... You know, here's my theory on this. Yes. You ready, Yes, Keith? yes. There's a, look. There's about 2 or 3%, we can't help it, of fanatical people. Some of them make their way into Congress. It's scary. Okay. But they're so out of touch, they're like aliens. Well, you know, there should be a march on Washington, like 97%. There could be libertarians, Republicans, mm -hmm. independents, although not Lieberman. This Lieberman, <laughs> I think he's soulless. You know, he wouldn't shake my hand once. He didn't. I did a speech, got a standing ovation, because I worked very hard for the Democrats. He gave a speech, and then when I, and I had never met him. This mm -hmm. is like, you know, 15 years ago. I, I extended my hand to the senator. And he said, and he pulled his hand back, I, Keith, and he said to me, uh, he says, I know your material. Well, <laughs> and he wouldn't even shake, he wouldn't shake my hand. Maybe and was, then I realized he became a turn, maybe he was a, a turncoat. Was, was he I have, a, a germaphobe? Was he Howie Mandel or something or what? He wouldn't, it was no, political? He, no, I don't know. Look, look, I popped out, of, as Bob Dylan says, who I was born here and I'll die here against my will. I'm not, an, I'm not, a, I'm not a big organized religion guy, yeah. but I'm a spiritual cat, and, uh, and I know he's very religious as a Jew, although I don't think in my lifetime he was t way too Jewish. Like, you know, if the bombs are coming and he's having it, you know, it's Friday night, Mr. President, the bombs are 10 minutes away. Hey, no, 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 no. He couldn't have. His dog was named Shalom. His wife was Hadassah. It was too much. Way too, but he didn't shake my hand, and he's screwing us up now with the public option. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. You know, I'm really, you know, I'm hearing what everyone's saying, Eugene and everybody, you, have, you know, Wolf, and all these guys are so smart. The thing that's really upsetting a lot of us, I don't 
I'm not one of these left-wing nutcases, but the truth of the matter is, he, I, our president, he inherited, I would have voted for a Muppet after what happened <laughs> after these eight years. What this guy inherited, yep. it's unbelievable. And he's trying his best to do a lot of things at once. Whether that's wise, I don't know. But, and, but you know, the bottom line is, you know, it's unfair for these people to scare 49 percent of Americans. You know, these elitists, I don't know how many people are in Congress altogether, but these people are mil multimillionaires. They live, they live an amazing life, and they're screwing over, you know, 300 million people and certainly almost 50 million out of health insurance, mm -hmm. and it's driving me crazy. So my, my initial thought was we should all wa walk on Washington, you know, make a march on Washington, but like, you know, the, the vocal majority yeah. of Americans all, you know, really bipartisan. Forget about yeah. what the president wants to do. It's a very nice thought, but it ain't working. And I want America to show, the Americans should show up on that in Washington and say, hey, these 3% nutcases showing up with guns and and saying all this crap on the air and scaring people, that's not what... We don't believe in that. You know, they, you know that's, that's why they only have 20% red meat people. You mm -hmm. know, let them do what they want to do. But it's really killing this country. It's not, this country is still has, you know, very, very quiet racist uh, qualities, anti-Semitic qualities, but only a few percentage points. And I think we have to prove to, to the world that this country really is a melting pot. And it's not crazy. And it's... And, and and we have to do something. I don't... Oh, am I done? Not well. All right. I was going to say we can't get we, we, we can do this, but we can't get insurance for it. That's the problem. Uh, Richard Lewis. Oh, you can, Rich I can, I, no, I got to sign off now. You can catch him on Curb Your Enthusiasm. The comedy tour Misery Loves Company stops in Hollywood, as he mentioned, on the 28th of this month. The benefit is for Lenny's house. Uh, it, it, you yeah, made a lot of sense. For, yeah, for Lenny Bruce's daughter. Yes, we've mentioned that, and no, I think we've I mean, gotten the point it, across. It, I don't, I, but that's not, the, the point is I, I you know, that I, I'm a proud to be an American, and I think Rachel will, will prove that later, right now, that the majority of us know what's right. That's Am, the deal. Amen, brother. Good to talk to you, my friend. And, oh, and I'm not going to read her memoir, because it's a coloring book anyway, it's only three pages. Oh, you know, the Sarah Palin book? Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, she's that's gonna, right. She's going on Oprah, so that'll, then I don't know what they're going to do for the last 45 minutes. That's count, thanks Can't Richard. Can't wait to watch it. That's countdown for this, the 2,365th day. He's, since the previous president declared mission accomplished in Iraq on people. <laughs> Good night. Good luck.